Okay, so I was just sitting here uh, writing a blog post and it's been kind of dreary and gloomy outside all day. Uh, the clouds have been very dramatic and dark, but not really any good light. Um, and then I just looked out about 10 minutes ago. It is about an hour until sunset. Um, and the light is starting to kind of stream through the clouds, which is going to be, hopefully, uh, going to make a promising photograph. However, I don't really have time to go anywhere. So there's a lake that I have yet to uh, explore, like, right across from my neighborhood. I've explored the other end of it, but oddly enough, I haven't gone to the little parking lot that's, like, right across from my neighborhood. So I'm going to go uh, check that out, and I'm going to use this, um, this light and hopefully this uh, light potential to do my... Um, video that you guys have been begging me for for a long time, which is the 20 by 30 print made of the from the Fuji X-T1 camera. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, it's going to be either two or three parts, so just keep watching the channel. Uh, it's probably going to be three parts. So part one is going to be this, capturing the scene, talking to you guys through it, bagging the photograph, and then part two, we'll post-process it together and get it all prepped for print, and then part three, we'll get the print in, take a look at it, and see how the image quality is. So uh, let's go ahead and get into part one. Okay, so apparently every time I try to go out on location, something something just goes wrong. Uh, I forgot my GoPro camera, so now I'm vlogging with the uh, front camera of my iPhone. And I have the older iPhone, so it's probably in 720p. I don't know. So if you're watching this up res and it looks terrible, that's why. Um, so I hope the audio is going to be okay. I'm not even sure what's going to happen now with the vlogging aspect. Because that was kind of the whole reason of this video. I wanted to take you guys along with me for part one so we could capture the X-T1 uh, sunset image here and see if we can get some good light so I guess we'll see if this works out filming on my iPhone uh, I don't know what to tell you all I know is there's a lake right here across from my house so I just pulled out of my neighborhood and I can already see the lake we'll go ahead and park and see if we can get something who knows So there's a problem I'm experiencing here. My glasses are all fogging up. Um, we have a really dark foreground right now and a really bright sky. So this is the perfect time to bring out my grad filters. And also we'll uh, go ahead and try out the long exposure with the Firecrest um, ND. I think I brought the 13 stop along tonight. I'm just carrying my uh, Think Tank bag. The Think Tank Retrospective, I want to say Retrospective 30 maybe. Um, it's a great bag. It's, it's a canvas bag, so it's not something you want to be out in if it's going to rain. Uh, but it is a really comfortable bag and it carries a lot of gear uh, for a messenger style bag. So I'm going to get out my filters and we'll see what we can do. All right, so I just started a four minute long exposure. Uh, I roughly have about 16 stops of light blocking the lens right now. Let me show you. So I have a two-stop ND grad, actually a three-stop ND grad, a 13-stop ND filter. So I have two filters stacked in there, and then also a polarizer that blocks about two stops. So I'm just waiting for this exposure to finish, and we'll see if I like it or not. If not, then I'll give up on the long exposure, and we'll just go back to shooting regular brackets. But the clouds are getting really nice. And the reason I had to pull the sky back is because that big hot spot over there keeps throwing off my exposure. All right, pro tip. Don't be like me and leave the long exposure noise reduction on accidentally when you're trying to do a four minute long exposure. Because then your camera says processing for like 15 minutes and you miss all of this goodness. So time to go practice my patience. So the exposure finished, it looked really good. The foreground was a little too dark, so I'm taking, uh, I took a few exposures without the ND filter on. Uh, I just took the grad filter off. And you can see, you can kind of see what the grad was doing. It's pulling back the sky three stops for me. So that's more or less what the grad does, if you can see. I'm pulling it up and then pulling it down over the sky. 
works really nice, but I just removed that because I don't really need that anymore since I've gotten exposures for the foreground and background already. Um, and the light's not harsh anymore, so the meter should be able to take care of that. Um, so I'm just going to keep doing some long exposures playing with the clouds, and I can uh, luminosity mask those in later if, if I wish. So yeah, I'm just going to keep shooting out here and see what we get. All right, so the sun is about officially down. You can see it up there. Let me tap the focus. So I got some good color coming in, uh, but uh, I don't know. I can't really tell on this small screen if I like it or not. I think I'm going to like it. We'll see if I'm going to leave it in color or black and white. I think it's going to make a really cool black and white, uh, but I don't know until I get it uh, on the computer and start messing with it and seeing what I can do, um, you know, with the contrast. Because black and white is all dependent on contrast and the light, the organic light that was there in scene. So I'm just going to have to play with that and see how I like it on a computer screen. I guess we'll find out uh, if I got one composition to rule them all or if I should have gotten two. Okay, so I'm home from the sunset shoot with the X-T1. Um, it went fairly well. I started off a little rocky. I forgot my GoPro camera. I had to film with my iPhone. Um, I got there and didn't really find a composition. And then I finally found one. You guys have already seen it. Uh, so I hope it's going to turn out well. Anyway, stay tuned for uh, next week's episode in part two, where we sort through the images and capture one, pick the best ones, post-process them, prep it for print, send it off for print and i guess we'll order a 20 by 30 maybe uh maybe we'll get crazy and order a 24 by 36 like a big acrylic haven't decided yet uh let me know in the comments what size you'd want me to print this at let, let me know let me know what you want to see you want to see it at like a 16 by 20 or whatever it is or 20 by 30 40 by 60 let me know what you guys want uh, and i'll try to deliver so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in part two